What's up, CyberMDs? Welcome to another lecture. This lecture will be focused on Monkberg's calcific sclerosis. Please be sure to like, comment, and or subscribe if you find this helpful at all so that we can continue to provide free medical education resources for students around the world. Additionally, please let us know if there's anything you think that we can improve on as we want to provide the best possible educational experience for anyone using our videos. Let's get started with our discussion on Monkeberg calcific sclerosis. This is the final lecture over the various forms of arteriosclerosis, which has included various pathologies that all include some form of increased thickness of the vasculature. Monkeberg calcific sclerosis is a specific form of arteriosclerosis that is characterized by the calcification of the media of muscular medium-sized arteries. This is a form of dystrophic calcification. Unlike other forms of arteriosclerosis, Monkeberg calcific sclerosis does not cause arterial stenosis or significant obstruction. I'll say that again. Monkeberg calcific sclerosis does not cause arterial stenosis or significant obstruction. It's often associated with diabetes mellitus and progressive kidney disease. The condition is commonly seen as an incidental finding on x-rays or during mammography, and it is not clinically significant on its own. It typically affects arteries in the extremities, so your arms and legs, and on the x-rays, Monkeberg calcific sclerosis is visualized as long, quote-unquote, pipe stem arteries with calcifications. That's going to be the buzzword that probably won't be used if you're ever tested on this. If you are tested on this, it's likely that they will give you uh, this imaging uh, or something like it, and they will expect you to know the diagnosis simply by looking at that. Uh, it's important to differentiate Monkeberg's from uh, atherosclerosis as they have distinct pathological features. While atherosclerosis affects only the intima of the arteries and Monkeberg calcific sclerosis is going to involve uh, the media of the arteries. Uh, in general, Monkeberg's calcific sclerosis is asymptomatic and does not require specific treatment. Uh, in summary, Monkeberg calcific sclerosis is a form of arteriosclerosis characterized by calcification of the media and internal elastic lamina of medium-sized muscular arteries. It does not cause arterial stenosis and is usually an incidental finding on imaging. Uh, it's not going to require any kind of treatments and it's typically going to be asymptomatic. Thanks for tuning in to this lecture, CyberMDs, and again, please be sure to like, comment, and or subscribe if you find this helpful at all so that we can continue to provide free medical education resources for students around the world. Additionally, please let us know if there is anything you think that we can improve on as we want to provide the best possible educational experience for anyone using our videos. See you all again in the next lecture.